Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rowan. I'm Jordan. And we're here to talk about the WandaVision season finale. <laughs> Episode 9. It's literally called the season finale. I was underwhelmed. Yeah, I was just going to say, what are your thoughts? Because you seem underwhelmed. You don't seem very happy with it. I'm, I'm not unhappy with it. But I feel like there's a lot of stuff that was too unfinished or left unsaid. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like the previous Marvel films, I felt, where like the main story's wrapped up, but there's like an intrigue for whatever's happening next. I felt like there were so many things un unanswered hmm. that it didn't feel satisfying to me. And I felt like they tried to squeeze it into a 49-minute episode when it could have easily been like an hour and a half or like an hour and 15. Uh, there's obviously got to be a reason for it internally, but I don't know why they are trying to squeeze it into these 40 minute episodes all the time. Yeah. Because people will happily sit through an hour long. I mean, people sit through these movies and Endgame was nearly three hours. So yeah. people will sit through these movies. This is probably one of the first or one of the most sort of direct about specifically Wanda and Vision. Because all of Phase 2 and Phase 3 were very ensemble and there were more characters in the movies anyway that mm -hmm. had these developments. Like you think of Civil War, that was basically Avengers 2.5, you know, yeah. people say. So this is going back to the real, like, first movies of these characters where, like, Iron Man 1 was pretty much just about Iron Man. There was no other characters. Mm -hmm. So it, it goes back to that first one where there's not many connections to the outside but now that we're in phase four you can't really do that yeah, you can't get feels, away with it it feels like they're trying to go back to the formula of starting another phase yeah. because like obviously iron man's gone um captain america's gone so they want to re sort of restart and, and use new characters and also give like although i m i enjoyed this series so much i really really loved yeah. it i just feel like the pacing was a bit off i feel like the best episodes were near the middle Mm. Where there was loads of intrigue, lots of like, oh my god, who's going to show up? Um, whereas this episode, I just felt like, was quite rushed. I didn't feel like Monica got much of a... She didn't get much of a spotlight. She got way more of a spotlight earlier on in the season. Yeah. Um, and in this episode, it was just kind of like, oh, she's in the attic with Ralph. I guess is not Pietro then, or not... Quicksilver from the other universe it's just they just did that to kind of be like so from what I said you. last episode where they they kind of did that they just cast him and, and just not... as shock value it's not anything to do with the plot I think it, it obviously definitely is intentional that he's been cast and I think it's a case where they are keeping it open for them to do something yeah a nod him. to the x-men and say like hey we just to let you know yeah. and dangle it in front of you like we do own the x-men now mm. Um, so that maybe they are able to introduce some sort of multiverse thing and they, they have him to be able to use, like in their back pocket almost. You know, they're like, okay, well, we have him. He's nobody mm -hmm. in this, but he can be. Um, I felt like his story with Monica was very underwhelming as well because, you know, it was a very, it's a post credit scene last time or the time before mm. that it was like, he was like, Snoop was going to snoop and you think there's maybe going to be a fight or something's going to happen. And at the end of Monica's interaction with Ralph, she says, nice to meet you, Ralph, because she gets, she gets the beads off him and he comes back to himself. And it seems like a very like, oh, nice to meet you, Ralph. And then cut. As if there's going to be a scene later on where they talk or something, or he helps her. Like, has he still got the powers? Yeah. Did the beads give... Like, I feel that was very, very unanswered. And then he's just gone. Monica just turns up there later on and Ralph is nowhere to be seen. Um, and the same with the second vision. He's just fucked off. Like, you, he's just got all his memories back. He is essentially vision. And he hasn't gone to his wife. The love of his life... The person who he let kill him for the good of the world, like, their connection is insane. And, like, where is he? Like, maybe it's kind of that AI robot thing struggle where it's like, am I human or am I the real Vision kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, well, I mean, Vision, Vision has always been very ex existential mm. and he's always been very philosophical. And that's a real twist that I, well, not a twist, but, like, the play on this episode that I really, really did, like is while Wanda and um, Agna, uh, Agatha were fighting a lot, 
the two AI robots had a conversation and talked it out. You very know? philosophical, yeah. very like, who is Vision then? What is the true Vision? Yeah. Like, like I liked that bit of it. You have two super strong robots. Obviously, what you want to see is them... Fighting. Bashing and it they, out. And, and they, they did, did fight bit. for a bit. But it's like, it's going nowhere because they both got exactly... They can phase through the beams. They can phase through each other's punches. Like, nobody's ever going to land anything and they're yeah. indestructible, so... I just felt like there was a lot of build up for like a very quick resolution. Yeah. I think Agatha got defeated too quickly. I think Hayward got defeated too quickly. I just feel like every villain or every loose end that was meant to be wrapped up maybe a bit longer or like drawn out was wrapped up very, very quickly in the episode, mm. including like Monica's stuff with Ralph. Um, again, like I said, Agatha, I think, was defeated far too quickly considering she... Like, I know, I know, I understood the fact that the fi- very final battle between Agatha and um, Wanda, why she won, why Wanda won, um, because of the runes and stuff, which was incredibly clever. I loved that. We were literally, like, gasping. We were like, oh my god, like, what? <laughs> like, that was really, really good. But before that, it was almost like, like, Agatha wasn't even really hurting her. It was just a bit lacklustre, I felt. And Agatha was a bit more clowny villain, like the rec- like the old villains used to be. Yeah, because... But I, am, but I am glad that she kept her alive, because it makes me think they're going to revisit Agatha later on as a character. Similar to what you were saying, because when Agatha and her were fighting, and uh, Wanda used her power on her, and it, like, messed her hand up... That didn't really seem to bother, like, have a difference on, on yeah, her or she not. Was just she could like, still oh. use her powers and her, yeah. uh, it basically just grayed her hand out. Like, that's all it did. It, it didn't seem to have an impact. There was not one second where I doubted Wanda would win. And I think that's the issue. Like, as, as powerful as they made Agatha out to be and they tried to set her up to be... I just, I don't think I fully believed it. I didn't fully believe the the fantasy kind of thing Mm. because Wanda just didn't seem that phased every time she did something. I wasn't worried for the kids. I wasn't worried for Vision. I wasn't worried for Wanda throughout the whole thing. I didn't perceive Agatha as a real threat. And I think that partly comes from the way they wrote the character is almost like she's trying to teach Wanda something, but then also she wants to take the power for herself. I feel like it's a very conflicted motive for Agatha because every now and again she's like, oh, good girl, like you learned and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Obviously harking back to... Oh, harking. Mm. Harkness. <laughs> uh, obviously harking back to the fact that she's her mentor in the comics. But yeah, I just didn't fully believe that Agatha could ever defeat her. No, um, I didn't feel a threat from her. I didn't even feel... Like, I was almost confused when Agatha was being really mean to her and, like, attacking her and trying to take her power because I didn't really get that vibe from her from the start. I feel like her motive was a little bit confused. Her character design and, like, the way it was written is a little bit confusing. Because I agree with you. Like, Mm -hmm. from one point she was being quippy and funny and making these, like, slight remarks And essentially Wanda. letting Wanda go through therapy, like, putting Wanda through therapy. Because, I mean, she wanted answers for herself, but... Yeah. I mean, she did she need Wanda to go with her for that, you know? And... I am a bit confused. And I am... I, I, I enjoyed her character very, very much throughout it. But I feel like her ending and her being defeated was a little bit rushed. I felt like... Meh. I don't want I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way like I really really enjoyed this finale like in it as an episode yeah. it just didn't feel like a finale to yeah. me I feel as well because of the fact that they know that these expanded universe works I feel they're a bit afraid to kill people off now mm. like Agatha I wouldn't I didn't want to see her go and I'm glad that there is still the opportunity to bring her back but then it never really feels like there's any resolution. Hmm. Because Vision's back in White Vision, so Vision never really died. I get, well, I mean, he obviously he did, but I mean, he's, he's back, back with all of his memories, so yeah. it doesn't matter. I'm working without the Mind Stone, which just isn't explained, which is great. And he has the beam, which is great. You know, Agatha got defeated, but not really. But the Hex is gone, but is her... Is, She's still is the Agatha the persona still yeah. up? Yeah, so Ralph 
got about two minutes screen time. Darcy had one line in this show. Jimmy had two lines in this show, in, in this episode. Mm. Monica came in and saved the kids. But then with... they didn't even need saving because yes. Billy or whichever one stopped and like, the bullets. And I know with the post credit scene, we're probably going to get more explanation. Monica's probably going to show up in Captain Marvel 2 with Nick Fury in the spaceship, wherever they are. Yeah. But they didn't, like, I want to know what Monica's powers are. I don't want to have to go and look them up. Yeah, I'm not going to look them up. Because, like, the bullets... I, I first thought it was, like, some magnetic thing, but then the bullets just... Went through her like, and jelly. then slowed down and then just fell Dropped. out the back of her. Like, almost like Vision's phasing, but slower. Yeah. It's just very confusing. And, like, I know that that's something that, you know, everyone's, everyone's probably going to be like, be patient, like, you'll find out. But it didn't feel... Like I was saying to you earlier, earlier on in, in you know, phase one, phase two, blah, blah, blah you had, you know, the Infinity Stones showing up and there wasn't really a link until Thanos shows up in, like, Avengers. It's not obvious, anyway, that he wants to collect them and that there's going to be this whole... It's like, on arc. Um, arc. It's almost like, oh, that is going to be cool later on. But with this... Like I said this to you earlier. This season, this season finale left way too many unanswered questions. Where did Vision go? Where's Evan Peters? What's Evan Peters doing? Is he just not... Like, is he just not relevant anymore? Is that it? Monica's powers, like, what the fuck's going on there? Is it the X-Gene, blah, blah, blah? Is anything going on? Is she the only X-Men in this universe? Yeah. <laughs> Darcy, what's Darcy going to do there? Are they just going to... Is she just going to... Whatever. Jimmy Woo, whatever. Because they're getting to be bigger characters that yeah. are recurring characters. But it's almost like, what's happening? There's too many variables that are like, what's happening? I didn't feel like I got very many answers at the end of this episode. No. I feel like they, they gave the answers a lot throughout the, the sort of, you know, five, six, seven mark. Mm. And then it was the, the resolution, which just flopped a little bit. Which Only is a little sad bit. to see. I don't want people to think that we're just complaining. No, but I, I want to get all of the, like, the issues that we had at first and then we'll talk about obviously what we enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, with, with like Jimmy Woo and Darcy and so much, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's too much of us asking for some sort of, you know, tie up for them with the characters. Like he asked, but... he asked Quantico to come in. And nothing happened with it. Well, they, they just came in at the end. They were there, yeah, like cleaning up. That the was town. it. But there was this whole thing about him calling, like being. He got tied up, and then he was out of his handcuffs. Woohoo! Magic because he can do magic tricks. And then he called to Quantico and was like, "Can you be here inside the?" It was feels like that was only all set up for a joke. Yeah. For the inside the hour gag. Yeah. It was just very like it fell a little bit flat. Very similar to what I was saying before about the Marvel feel a little bit worried to kill off characters it, it removes the meaning and you know the, the emotion in the episode because in the final credits the after credit scene where Wanda's in her little cabin she's doing her stuff she's like astral projecting very similar to do what Doctor Strange did mm. to read the books and get where he was she's looking through the book of the damned and maybe through multiverses she then hears her kids crying yes. asking for help so it's like so the kids like that. That was that was a touching. In another scene. universe, they exist. Yeah, which obviously is going to happen, and I understand the multiverse. But then it it it's almost just a bit like. But if she's a nexus, conning every anything. Yeah, no one's dead. The no. kids like, especially when Vision. Like, although I did cry when um, the Vision that she created was get being disintegrated essentially i did cry at that bit because it was very moving but then yeah. in the back of my head i was just like yeah but the other vision's there exactly and it was it was a little bit of that as well in infinity war because they all got snapped but you know end games coming out next year and yeah. you know they're not gonna lose lose but it was still a really really good shock ending to that movie mm. and then it's that oh well how are they gonna win then because at the start of the series she lost vision she lost her brother and she lost everything and at the end of this again, she, she lost her kids and she lost Vision again, but not really because Vision's back, but not really because her kids are But she doesn't nothing. know that as well. She doesn't know that Vision's back. That's true, yeah. Um, no, because we don't know where the fuck he went. But yeah, so Vision isn't dead and he's back, although she doesn't know that. He had like an epiphany and he was like, yeah. I am the Vision, and then just flew off. But like how and where is that going to show up again? Do you know what I mean? That's what I feel with these unanswered questions. It's like, I can't... I have no vision lol, of where they, these characters are going to show up again. And I get, I get the idea of a cliffhanger and you know yeah. some unanswered questions to be explained in later movies, so that you have to then watch Doctor Strange two. 
at this point, most Marvel fans are going to watch Doctor Strange 2 anyway. Yeah. You could have wrapped it all up in a nice little neat bow and left a little tease at the end of... Yeah, just left the Monica scene. one, maybe. Yeah. Or just the Scarlet Witch one. Left the Scarlet Witch one. I even have Doctor Strange in that post credit scene or something. That's what I was expecting. I was yeah. expecting Doctor Strange to show up and be like, so I see you've been busy or something. Because he is the Sorcerer Supreme. He, you know, in Thor 3, Thor Ragnarok, he traps Loki yeah. in the repeated thing because he is a technically a type of sorcerer to Doctor Strange, mm. who is a threat to mm. Earth. And essentially, Wanda at this minute, according to all the people who live in Westview, is a threat because... I, although, I mean, they're never going to know that she didn't mean to do that or mm. forgive her for it. So surely Doctor Strange has to show up at some point to be like, hey, I, I was thinking maybe he could become her mentor, help her control the powers, something like that. But he just didn't show up and I thought it would have been a nice touch to see that. But then maybe, like, they don't want it to be so obvious that, that she's going to be involved in Doctor Strange too. But everyone knows that they already. They said it like two years ago They've when they announced it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I did like in the book of the Damned that it mentioned that she was stronger than the Sorcerer Supreme. Yes. Who Doctor Strange is pretty much the strongest of the good guys that we've seen so far. The fact that the way, like, he took Thanos on one on one and did the best, although Tony, you know, gave him a little cut. Mm. You know, Doctor Strange held his own with him and he did his best. Maybe because she's got the mantle of Scarlet Witch now and she's been named as that, he's like, ooh, we've got a Scarlet Witch in yeah, this planet. Yeah, surely he has a copy of the Book of the Damned in that fucking library where yeah, everything's exactly. chained up. Like, surely he knows that it exists because it's he does he also does spells, but in a different way. I did really enjoy um, her journey, like, through accepting that she was the Scarlet Witch in this episode because for a very long time she's like I'm not who you say I am blah 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 to Agatha and then by the end um the final battle with Agatha mm. she's accepted it she gets the little crown which is so cool like this sort of projected crown it's not even real until she, her costume comes in that was really really cool I really enjoyed that her kind of accepting the power that she has I liked the end as well with the the hex just closing in and the end with her in vision and her saying um he was like what what am i because yeah. he still doesn't know he has no idea what he is and she tells him you are my sadness you're my hope and you're my love um and obviously the piece of the mind stone that was in her and i did cry at that bit i thought it was very meaningful and very like sad mm. because at that point she still doesn't know and I feel like he's saying goodbye to her, but he's quite content. He knows yeah. that that other vision exists and it's essentially him. He knows that. And I know the whole like, so long darling and I'll see you again kind of thing. It really got me because it's like, they will. Yeah. <laughs> but she doesn't know that, but he does. And it's just, it is very like, it is very poignant, I think. Yeah. It, it shows her growth in terms of the fact that she can tuck her kids in and close the door and end all of that. Whereas even like you know, 15 minutes before in the episode when she was closing the hex and they were dying, they were dying. She, she couldn't do it. She they were to... screaming at her. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. It was, it was a different situation at that point. But it, I think it definitely goes to show her growth and the fact that she could just walk away from it. Um, and she's still not, yeah. you know... Healed. And you know she feels guilt for what she did to those people as well. Yeah, with well, her conversation with Monica at the end. Mm. I did like how everything kind of pieced together at the end. where Everyone had a little role at the end. Yeah, where like, it, and the introduction and the timing of that was done well, I think. Whereas um, White Vision coming down and, you know, trying to pop her head. And then Other Vision comes in, like, just in time, saves it. That was good. And yeah, I like that. Haywood, but you know doing them fuck them kids was about to shoot the kids <laughs> monica running in just in time and you know jelly, seeing jelly her further, bullets. further sort of evolution to her powers as well exactly because uh, her eyes went orange instead of blue yeah sometimes they go blue sometimes they go orange so it's a bit like oh was it heterochromia where they... yeah <laughs> darcy coming in uh, yeah and, and trapping hayward in his in his car at first I thought, I was like, well, I was, I was an ice cream van. How was that hit a military SUV? But, but then when the hex to... went, it was a bigger military SUV. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, never mind. Uh, what else did I like? 
there's not much that we like. I know. The thing is, I did enjoy it. I don't want anyone to be like, oh, you're just complaining for the sake of complaining. Because I've seen loads of people be like, oh, all the comic book fans are going to be pissed off that Mephisto's not in it. I don't give a shit about Mephisto. No, same. I don't give a shit about the comic books. I give a shit about the pacing and like the at the end of this episode. Yeah. I basically enjoyed Wanda throughout this episode. Wanda was like, Wanda and Vision were my favourite parts of this episode. Mm. Agatha felt her end was a bit underwhelming overall, but Wanda was like her accepting herself and then her having the new the new um, outfit was amazing. I thought it looked insanely good. And the confidence that she oozes after she, you know, just as she's about to put Agatha under um, and be a, a Westview, yeah, be Agnes again, yeah, is just insane. And you can tell she's got, she's, she's determined to just be herself. She's, and go and live her life, like, on her own now. She's always had a hint of, you know, kind of like, I don't really fucking care. You know, like, yeah. a, a little bit of bad in her all the time. There's always that, yeah, well, I'll you. do what I fucking want. Yeah, and that was this case with Agnes. Like, she's put Agnes in this sort of purgatory in her mind, but she's like, Beep. oh well, you know. And like, I guess it's like, you're cruel and this and that. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, I'm meh. But <laughs> going back... To complain again with, with with Agatha, it just feels like they didn't really know what to do with how her. to end. The... Yeah, because they did. They like removed her power with the runes, which again was amazing. That was such a nice reveal. Yes. Her, her missing trying to give Ag- Agatha that her was power great. was her doing the runes on the, the hex, which again was amazing. They like removed her power, um, so she doesn't have her powers anymore. So maybe uh, yeah. So I, she did to Agatha what Agatha did to so many people along these what two hundred yeah. years since Salem. Maybe she has some left because she's not dead because when Agatha took power from people they would die they'd shrivel up and die. Mm. So maybe she does have some power left but uh, um, Wanda's influence over her is just too strong for her now. I am I am looking forward to seeing her again because I, I really was hoping that there wouldn't be so much villainy with Agatha. I was really hoping that it would be a mentor type of situation or like a helping her to control the powers or to learn spells and stuff whether it turned into like a a redemption arc or something for Agatha maybe I don't know but I I don't think I quite and until we see if she turns up later on at all I don't think I'm quite happy with how her story ended at the end of Winter Soldier um Bucky saves Cap drags him onto the water then, like, and then runs Bucky away. goes and it's like <laughs> there's no end of Bucky there but then you get the hint okay he's 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 back now and obviously he's on the run I can't wait to see Bucky again but I'm happy the way that it was left yeah I'm ha- like I can't wait to see White Vision again he kind of just ran off with no the, the, like there was no motive behind him flying away he just went I'm Vision and then disappeared I think I would have been a, if you if you think of it if they did a similar thing if you try and think, if vi- if the new vision, she saw him, like just saw him from from afar, and he was like looking at her or something or watching her do do whatever, and if she could see his eyes were normal, mm. and then he flies off, I feel like I would have been happier with that type of thing because he's giving her that reprieve. There is some kind of vision, yeah. like she probably maybe. Um, starts to get into a fighting stance but he's just not attacking and he you, she she notices his eyes maybe it's just anything like that like would have been a yeah. more poignant like end to that thing and, and an intrigue to see what where he pops up next i just don't think vision as a character as a personality would have just left her behind i mean i guess you could argue the new vision didn't know that she was going to get rid of the hex and you know get rid of the vision that she created and, and the kids you could argue that him as vision you don't even have him like watching from afar you don't have him watching the house from afar like nothing like poignant like is he actually vision because it seems like they're setting him up like yes he is well i mean i mean that was part of the sort of existential philosophical yeah. debate that old and new vision had which I, I really really enjoyed i just don't believe that the that vision if he was vision vision with all the memories all the personality everything that he would just leave wanda behind I just don't believe it. After everything we've seen of his character in this show, which, granted, was just a creation of Wanda and not 
the vision that we've seen, but she would have created a vision that was faithful to the personality, the old, old vision, mm. the one that Thanos killed. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it, it yeah, it, it's, bruh. it is frustrating. I'm not like mad at it. I'm, not, I'm completely not mad at the end of the show I'm not angry or anything I'm just I think a little bit underwhelmed yeah. I didn't I did enjoy the episode I wouldn't say it was the worst episode but I would say it's probably down there maybe like bottom three bottom two it just wasn't as good as the first like maybe like episodes three through six I would say were the best ones. Yeah, yeah. Especially the Halloween one, like that was really good. I think they just didn't leave enough reveals to the end. They sort of revealed everything in the middle. And then by the end, there weren't any reveals at all. And it was just like, oh, it's the done only, now. The only reveal this episode felt like it had was Agatha saying, I want your power. Yeah, and then the new vision switching into... Yeah. Anyway... Let us know what you think of the episode down in the comments. I'm very sorry that we've been so negative. I do, again, I want to stress, we did enjoy the episode. It was just a bit underwhelming. And I did enjoy the series as a whole as yes. well. It was a very good series and Marvel's first MCU series that they're doing. I get what technical MCU series that they're doing. I'm excited for the rest. We will be doing Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. Two uh, weeks today is when the first episode comes out. I think, I'm assuming it's going to come out on a Friday. It is, yeah, I checked. 19th, oh. 19th of March, which is two weeks exactly from today. Loki, obviously, will probably be definitely doing that. Hawkeye? Doing that as well? Yeah. Or oh, Black Widow? Let us know what you thought, and we will see you again for Falcon and Winter Soldier. In two weeks' time. In two weeks' time. You get a free week next week. We'll see you again soon. Bye!